<laughs> All right. Now, mate, guess what I watched yesterday? Uh, mate, I've got no idea. It could, <laughs> ra- it could <laughs> range from a lot of things. Yeah, it definitely can. So, but I actually watched, um, it was cool. It was a bit of nostalgia. I actually watched uh, a Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening. A Yu-Gi-Oh! pack Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. Yu-Gi-Oh! That is very different. And someone pulled a, a rare blue eyes white dragon. I, I haven't heard of that. That a is a yeah. That's a long time ago now. You know what, what so. else? There's there. There was a dark magician, something like that. that uh, yeah, yeah, a pretty yeah. cool. Pull. I don't know. I like watching people open those cards, especially there's a Dragon Ball. There's Dragon Ball super cards. I've I seen think, them. Yeah, I've seen yeah. There's a they few new ones. Actually, look sick. Some of them they like. I've seen like some of the shinies because like, Max Mofo was doing an opening on them. Mm-hmm. Some of the, like the shiny ones don't sell for as much as I thought they would. Well, a lot like of them the don't sell for heaps. Like, yeah, the like one of the most rarest Yu-Gi-Oh cards that this guy was saying only sold for like, like I don't know one his his second rarest card would only sell for one thousand two hundred dollars, and I was like, that's. That's not that much money. Yeah, you no, considering not, how not much really. money you probably yeah, spent, yeah, no, yeah, like <laughs> the amount of money spent on packs. Mm, but the cards are pretty cool. But that's not what we're talking about today. No, it is not. We <laughs> are talking about a, a phase Doug Sensor Martin. Phase. phase Doug Sensor Martin. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> it's got. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. The headline that everyone's seeing that that wouldn't watch Phase Sensor's videos is getting misconstrued. Like, like no other. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> correct. It's, really- I, it's funny because like I watched his explanation video, and then yesterday before I went to sleep, I was just scrolling on Facebook, and it was an article by Uni Lad. By Uni Lad. I, th- yeah. I thought he said by you lad, and I was like, <laughs> I don't remember uploading anything <laughs> of the sort. Oh, maybe you did. I was like, <laughs> but, but yeah, um, I saw mine on um, Lad Bible. Oh ah, yeah, it, nice. and the title is "Tell Me for the Same View." Gamer drops supermodel to play more COD. No, no, no. The title's a little bit different for me, but that's um, yeah, I can just imagine all the co- the comment section under that yeah, article. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty. Was the comment? What not the comment? The comment. What was the, the, what was the title comment. for you? Oh, fuck! I don't. It was just like YouTube, which like dumps girlfriend for gaming, gaming or, something. or something. So and then like the top comments were like most of them. Like there was a few, and they were like, "You guys are like idiots and all that." Like, this is his career and all this. That's how he yeah. makes money, etc. Like even if fuck he he continued doing it. She probably would have like, left him anyways. Yeah. And she, and then other people were like, you fucking idiot, you should have stayed. So like, I don't know, there's arguments going back and forth for it was me. both sides. But, it, but like, it, when it, you read it as that though, yeah, you're a bit like, of course the fuck? Did. Well, he's pretty much, she's been with her for three years and let's just put this out there. She is fit. Yeah, she's well fit. With a capital F. <laughs> for fit. <laughs> <laughs> she is outright gorgeous. And his explanation was, um, I want to be a COD pro champion, which all credit to you. That's fine. But I wouldn't have gone with that argument. Oh, he, he, <laughs> he completely ignored that. He makes a fuckload of money off YouTube. Correct. And the, he sponsors and because he, he's Jim Shark sponsor. He, he makes, and that's like the money. best like gym way. I'm pretty yeah. sure. He, he does so. make a lot of money off YouTube, but he completely just didn't mention that. He wanted, he just mentioned that he wanted to be a pro gamer. Yeah. He wanted to ring a ring. Mm. But <laughs> I, I like didn't know that. there was that much money in, Pro Call of Duty anymore? I didn't think there. I, I thought I know like, there is a lot of other games. Yeah, like Fortnite. There yeah. is huge. But at the moment, I, I remember back in the day when COD was booming and the most popular for um, for gaming, competitive gaming. I remember one of the teams just won five hundred grand between. Yeah, the like four, of four them. yeah, and, and then which then would have got split again. I'm gonna say because like taxes, the team all that yeah. kind of stuff. I just, I, I don't see. The big drive in being like a pro Call of Duty player, but this is what he the, wants to like, do. That's what he like wants I know, to do. like I know it's still around, but I definitely don't think it's as big as like what it won. Obviously, oh, just because COD's gone it, downhill, it definitely so. Is, Fortnite is the bigger one right now, so I'm guessing he want he's gonna he's gonna focus on Black Ops Four. But he did he did throw in some other reasons. He said there was the language barrier. She was she was also over in Mexico, and she was doing a lot of her work. And they both have busy busy lives, but. Again, she is fit. <laughs> yeah, she. I think. I think. Yeah, it's. Yeah, how he sort of like went about his explanation and all that. I know it did sound a bit like real average because at the same time, like you got to remember, like she's come across from Mexico mm. and she's had to like learn how to speak English. Yeah, and all that. So like, and he doesn't really like mention. He's just like you know, like it's hard to go like back there and see her all the time and all that. It's like, yeah. It wasn't easy for her to pack up and move to you either. Like, <laughs> true. Like, come on, dude. Yeah, but yeah. And they just bought a house too, man. Like, they've seriously like they've bought a house, built the house, like got all the furniture in and stuff. It's, like, it is just so hard for if he was to 
he mentioned his career, which makes sense. So if he if he wants to be a YouTuber and he wants to keep making the money, doing Twitch streams, all that stuff, it makes a lot of sense. You do make a lot, a lot of money. And if he had to give up that, I know if you're a Twitch streamer, if you're not constant, you're oh yeah, actually, your subs are gonna, you like, are gonna die off so quick. Subs. Yeah. So he ha- he actually has to be playing, and he says he plays like four, like four to eight, ten hours a night. Which is pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah, long like, sessions. So long sessions. If you're playing that much, it is very hard to fit in a girlfriend. But I don't, I, I don't know. I, I feel like someone that fit, because she is a ten. Yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like wouldn't you just try to make it work? <laughs> like, I think you? I think anyone else probably would. Mm. Like you just work through that as hard as it can be. Like I don't know. I mm. think there's other ways that he could have gone about it. Yeah. It, it it because as much as there's so much more detail, it really is. I mean, gamer leaves supermodel for video game because that's what, yeah. that's what he did. It's what he did. I know there's more context, but that is what he did. So yeah, it's a, it's a bit crazy. What, what, would you do that? Probably not. <laughs> Probably fucking not. I like, do like it, it, like it all serious. Like you're already making like a lot of money. Like I think. Like, maybe just, like, as hard as it probably could be, just cut some hours. Like, I get, like, you know, if you're playing a professional, like, game, or, like, yeah, professional gaming, mm. sorry, like, and all that. Like, I know that, like, they have training and yeah. stuff. So, like, do that, but, like, I don't know, just cut, like, your stream hours, like, down by, like, a little bit. So, that mm. way, at least you have, like, a, at least an hour, two hours a day. Yeah. Where, like, you can put all your time yeah. to, like, them. Yeah. I don't know. I would, I would happily drown and come back to life just to kiss her on the cheek. So <laughs> not fair. I, I, could, I could understand that. Did you also see um, that <laughs> Ninja got Ligma? Oh uh, well, I kind of saw it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. So what happened was that some trolling, uh, I think it was an Instagram account, or some someone who wanted to troll Ninja. Yep. Wrote about how because he was off, uh, he was he wasn't streaming for a couple of hours. All these kids freaked out because he's all he is always streaming yeah so the rumor was spread that he died of ligma <laughs> and everyone's making tribute videos like pay their respects to ninja like they can't believe he's dead and people would go what's ligma <laughs> and then we go. and then you just want to say this and, and the reply was ligma balls <laughs> Genius, which is <laughs> fucking hilarious. So when he did come and when he did come back and stream, everyone was like, "Oh, he's not dead. He's, he's alive. He's okay. What is happening?" And and he went. Ar- this is what you don't do on YouTube, any, on any platform. If someone says something mean about you, or they make up a rumor, or they say something, and you're not a fan of it, yeah, you don't let that show. <laughs> Definitely don't. You let do that not show. let people know. Hey. This, this is not on. This hurts my feelings. I don't like it. I'm upset. This isn't going well. You don't say that. So when they started saying, oh, I thought you died of Ligma, he wrote, he said to his mods or whatever works on Twitch, he's like, everyone who says I have Ligma, ban in the stream for 24 hours or and then ban permanently. And it's like, oh, you've just you've just made, oh, you've just wow. given everyone something to now kind of target you and go at, don't you reckon? Yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, there's always, um, yeah, Ninja's a different sort of person. Mm. I, I like, like, I, I rate him, mm. and I, and I think it's cool, like what he does and stuff. But, um, I don't know the whole like how he just like goes from swearing, and then he's like, I want to be like child friendly because yeah, boom, all of a yeah. sudden he realizes um is his it? audience is more child than. Because did you see that video <laughs> where he started talking about Nicki Minaj's ass or something like that? No, I haven't. I think it was something along those lines, and it was the video it cut from. Him talking about, I want to be real child friendly. I want to make sure everyone like can watch my games and everything like that. And then it's him talking about fucking some chick <laughs> in the ass or, or bouncing Christ. on some chick's ass. It was something along those lines. And it's kind of like, oh, you <laughs> double standards there, buddy boy. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. <laughs> Big fella. <laughs> but, ah, oh, fuck. Don Ligma. Don Ligma and gamers leaving their supermodel girlfriends. I just and this is just a few of the stories. Yeah, oh, like, that are just coming out at the moment. Because if you have seen that weather girls bum, Jesus Christ! Yeah, I mean, well, I guess someone's clapping those cheeks now. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, have you seen those comments? No. Oh, dude, go on like any like like sensor video, hmm. and this is to what like my, my, mind you, like a lot of these fans are just assuming that they were going to break up because hmm. she's been in Mexico for that long now. Yeah, they're always just like. It's like blah blah blah's clapping, clapping those cheeks, <laughs> and I like it. It got to the point 
Where send like him like sends himself it was like oh guys don't from like guys remember before you leave just like clap those cheeks and leave a like for me and I was just like <laughs> oh, mate like what do you what do you what have you done <laughs> I reckon there might be more to it though as well I mean it didn't really look like he he, he minded too much he was kind of yeah, just, just like, like yeah, no, I, I, love- I want to be a cod pro I want it's like I, I get it man <laughs> I get it <laughs> but- I love the style of it he's like. Not really good at these things, but um, let's get into it. He's like, all right, so, Cod Pro, want to be one? She uh, she wants to be in Mexico, and we're done. Yeah, that's about it. That's it. I want to win a ring. She wants to... Um, <laughs> she I don't want to put a ring on her, but I want to win a ring. She wants to be a supermodel, and that's fine. That's her dream. I want to, I want to play Call of Duty. <laughs> it's, like, it's just like, uh, fuck, you not... There's so many ways stop. you have to went about this. What are you doing? You've made it sound so silly. You've got to add in that you make like you make a good amount of YouTube. You want to talk to your fans more. You want to be on Twitch more. If you keep talking about this ring, I'm going to start wanting this ring. Oh, I don't. <laughs> I want to know, that I sounds know pretty what it good. Looks like. Yeah, same. Like, it must be the 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 ring from the Green Lantern. <laughs> it fucking better be. <laughs> Otherwise, I, I, do you know what though? Can you imagine? Because Call of Duty, so someone said this once. Someone said that if you were to jump on something like Halo. Mm-hmm. Right, and you're a pro player versus a novice. You will win ten out of like ten out of ten times. If you're a novice versus a pro, you may win eight out of ten times on Call of Duty because it is very. You can die extremely quickly. Oh yeah, and it's if ridiculous. someone just like kind of sprays, if they saw around the corner, they can kill you. Yeah, there doesn't have to be so, so much skill. So, it was so true. Because the games, there's a lot of games that come with amazing skill that just no one can be beat. And I kind of thought, like, imagine if you don't even make it to the qualifying rounds. Like, the proper, where it's like, yeah. okay, this is the stage. We've got a quarters, a semis, and a grand final. Imagine if you don't even make it to that stage. And then the tournament's done for that. Like, it's done. Is he going to be that lying in bed, pulling up Pornhub, going, oh, I, I'm... Made a mistake. <laughs> you probably think so. Are you all like, you're not serious. <laughs> like, unless he wants that ring that bad, did he just, just like? But man, like, I don't know. I think he wants I to just, fuck the ring. <laughs> I think so. I mean, it's possible. Like, I, I just, I don't know, man. Like, he left Phase and all that to like do his own thing. But he's wait. Did he leave Phase? Yeah, well, he he like he's not in the pro team anymore. Like, he, and now he's trying to like make his own pro team again or some shit. I'm pretty so he's sure not, he's not in phase and not in the pro team, but he's yeah. He, he, well, he was like yeah. I think they were like the phase themselves. Like yeah, you can still be like phase sensor or whatever. But like yeah, he doesn't actually like pro game under phase. Well, it makes sense to keep the phase like, name because that will bring in more people. So wait, yeah. so he doesn't have an actual team yet. Oh, he does, but I don't know what I can't. I don't recall what they're called. But so they, not like a they came team. against like optic and all that. There was like a whole video of him like. I don't know one of his teammates like they couldn't use he couldn't use like his headset so yeah, he so like forfeited the them out yeah. yeah and he like and then they forfeited and he was like mad as he's like oh I should have known better and all that stuff like, but you didn't <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's like he's like oh being a professional like myself Doug Sensor Martin I should have known that and it's like <laughs> but you didn't <laughs> but uh, yeah crazy, good crazy dog leaving. just people die in Oligma yeah people leaving supermodels for COD yeah. Listen, just be careful you know, with your choices. I, I just think <laughs> the Ligma thing is hilarious. And with Sensor, I just, he should have talked about it a completely different way because I, I there's part of me that does understand what he wants to do. He wants to focus on his career. But to people who are outside of YouTube, he just sounded like someone who wanted to play more video games. <laughs> and I don't know. You can play video games all the way you want. Just, yeah, you, like, you, that's you, fine. You, you, could ha- you could do that. And have that weather chick laying naked next to you, and it'd, it'd be perfect. I can just, I don't know, I see he that. He wants that ring. <laughs> I, I see the argument both ways, but yeah, it's just his explanation was really, really fucking average. <laughs> like, it all seriously, like, yeah, it was just. Uh, it really was. Oh, we'll leave it there. Um, What else have we got? What, what else have we got to say? What else? Oh, we've got, some, we've got a couple of good stories coming up. Yeah, we do. Oh, just around the corner. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn the heater on because it's gotten cold very quickly. And I it's <laughs> yeah, a bit cold. Uh, yeah, yeah, just a wee bit, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm fucking, I am, I am you cold. You get cold yeah, so a little fucking bit. easy. Yeah, well, thanks, man. <laughs> I think. <laughs> well, All right, guys. Yeah. Thank you uh, so much for watching. Anything you'd like to say? Just remember to like, subscribe, 
comment, follow on. There was a guy actually. Okay, so there's a person who commented on our latest video on the KSI one. I saw that. That's yeah, a bot. Oh, well, it's not a bot. Well, but he it, wants. He wants. He, they wanted to know Instagram, so <laughs> well, and you didn't reply. Let, let, I did it because the, the, he wrote that exact comment on our first video. And the first video, so our first video we uploaded, and this one. He wrote the same comment. <laughs> I think. I think. I could be wrong. No, I, but it was something along the lines of, "I watched all your videos. What's your Instagram?" And then that was the same on our first ever video uploaded. And oh, it's like, so it's true. kind of like. Well, if he oh, wants to know, our Instagram, I'm on to you. <laughs> <laughs> they want to know where our Instagram is. Well, the Instagram is uh, Takeaway Podcast, but with Takeaway <laughs> underscore Podcast because we couldn't get. <laughs> we got Takeaway Podcast clean on everything except the Instagram, which has pissed me off, but. Okay, can't yeah. win them all. Yeah, well, we should, but yeah, we, we didn't. So yeah, I don't know, and it's not taken either. Yeah, so that really. Why well, it's not? My gear. No, it's not. So, piss, wow, yeah, pisses me right off. So, yeah, guys, for Instagram takeaway underscore podcast, because fuck fuck Instagram for that one. <laughs> put put it right. Yeah, that us. is <laughs> that is a royal fucking. Mm, it is. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you later. Later.